Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Amar Ali bin Abdullah and in this video, I will present to you a topic which is public finance management cross-country benchmarking in budgetary system. Okay, in this video, I will compare three countries. The first country is Malaysia, second is Singapore and the third is the Republic of Uganda. This uh, country will be compared in a few aspects. The first is the what is the budget that been implemented by each of the country. Second is the definition of the, the system itself. Third, the objective of the implementation. Fourth, the, the advantage of the system. And fifth, the challenges in implementing the system. Okay, now we proceed with Malaysia. As a developing country, Malaysia has implemented zero-based budgeting system. Okay, as a definition of concept, zero-based budgeting system is a method of budget which all expenditure must be justified. Okay, uh, zero-based budgeting has three objectives. The first one, to reduce the unnecessary costs. Second, allows the implementation of high-level strategic. And last but not least, to make a thoughtful spending decision. Since Malaysia has decided to implement zero-based budgeting system, there are few advantages and challenges in implementing that particular system. The first advantage is it will allow to have a clear information justification for each of the expenditure. And the next advantage, it will always keep a past expenditure in check. Okay. Uh, we move on to the challenges. The first challenges in implementing zero-based budgeting system is tracking. Tracking day by the expenses will be quite difficult for the public servant because they have a limited of time. And the second challenges is the people issue. People issue refers to the public servant itself. Uh, since we know that zero-based budgeting system in Malaysia is still new, so coping with the new system is quite challenging. Now we proceed with Singapore. Singapore is one of the developed countries in the world. Uh, different from Malaysia, Singapore has implemented the top-down budgeting system. Okay, uh, as a definition, uh, a top-down budget budgeting system is a binding decision on a total of budget is taken before allocating expenditure within the total of budget. Uh, in other words, uh, the decision of this budget taken in a cascade manner or in a, in a simple way to understand uh, decision is taken from top to bottom. Okay, uh, the aim of this budgeting system is to manage fiscal deficits more efficiently and to prioritize the fiscal management target for fiscal sustainability and achieving the target. Okay. Since Singapore has implemented top-down budgeting system which differ from other countries, uh, this system also have their own advantages and disadvantages. Okay, for the first, which is the advantages, it will have low time consuming and also will allow better financial control. This is because only the top management or the top ministries will involve in this uh, budgeting process. Okay, meanwhile, the challenges. Okay, it will lower the motivation and also low participation. Okay, in low motivation, it shows that not, since we all know that not all ministries are involved in the process, so the ministries, the other inline ministries cannot uh, propose their own budgeting. So, it will lower down their motivation. Now, we proceed with one of the underdeveloped countries, which is the Republic of Uganda. This republic has implemented a performance-based system. As a definition, this system is a practice of developed budget, budgeting based on the relationship between ministries, funding level, and expectation result from that particular ministries. There are three objectives of this uh, budgeting system. The first is to talk widely about the issues as it applies to the national goals. 
Second, analyze the application or implementation of a performance in each of the program or departments. And last, uh, allow the stakeholder expectation in the budgeting process. Okay, since the Republic of Uganda has implemented the performance-based system as their budgetary system, uh, the system itself has their own advantages and disadvantages. Okay, for the advantages, first, it will allow the government to have a better cost estimation. Second, it will increase accountability or, in other words, will increase the, the people trust towards the government. Okay, for the challenges, first, uh, by implementing this, it will easy to manipulate, which is the data. And second, uh, the performance measurement metrics itself can be the challenges, which is uh, only one source of information on performance uh, are being relied on. Okay, now we are on the last part on this presentation. Okay, as a conclusion, there is no one best fit system that can be applied in the entire country. This is because we have to take consideration of the size of geographical, the number of population, the economic status, and the resources that they have. Uh, and it is also necessary for the government to have uh, the good budgeting system in place to ensure that they can manage their financial. Uh, okay. It will give in fact if the government have the good budget system it will increase the trust of people towards the government uh, so uh, lastly uh, the government must focus on what the people and the economic needs compared to what the needs of the government okay i think that's all for my presentation thank you and assalamualaikum